What's up guys, CW here today, back with the final part of our Sanctuary Beach series. And, the dinosaurs we are going to be using this episode are 3 Diplodocus, 4 uh, Pachycephalosaurus, 1 Sauropelta, and 2 Edmontosauruses. So, the area we're going to be building now is over here. So I've kind of already laid out the base work for it. Now that we've actually gotten terrain tools and everything, I can actually make this completely different. So, first of all, I want to get just the outline of this done. I want to make this all rock right here. It makes it look nice. So let's get rid of all the dirt along here. Have this go up to here like that. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't want dirt there though, but it's fine. Like, oh my god. I can finally, like, make stuff look so detailed now. It's going to be amazing. So we can go ahead and just put rock on all of this side of the path, I think. Uh, yeah. That looks fine. Uh, nope, needs to go here too a little tad bit. Alrighty. So we got ourselves a little rocky base. Let's put it on that side too. Actually, it's probably outlining the entire park in this. Being perfectly honest. It's not like you can really notice, but it's still just a little details that make it look nice. So. Now we need to add some rocks for... Oh, this looks so good. I can actually add details into a park now. Like, look at that. It just makes it look ten times better. Actually, I think I want to have the dirt, the grass cut in a little bit right here. Just cut it right there. And we can put uh, pit plants at the top. So, let's go with this kind, because I really like this kind. It kind of makes it look all, uh, floofy. So, I just want to use this. Alright. We have some bleaching down in here. I should to increase the bus size if I'm going to be doing it right here. So, maybe we could have a gradient down there. You know, it's kind of like fading into the ocean. Maybe this is like a rocky coast. Instead of like your normal sandy beach, because we don't have sand on here, so we gotta suffice with something. But maybe it's like more of a rocky coast area. Like, look at that. That looks so good. Like, it, just, like, just like, one pair of rocks adds so much detail. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some more rocks in there. So we already used the first two. Actually, let me try this one. Hey, we could plop twig. Saints. Put some right here. Maybe it's like more of a rocky area compared to the rest. Maybe there was an avalanche a while ago or something like that. Oh, is it a raptor? I was like, what is that noise? And then I realized the raptor is just making noise. Alright, so... Oh, I look... Oh, can I outline the coast in this? Because if I can, it's going to look really nice. I can. can sort of outline the coast in this. Oh, I can then. Uh, hey. Oh, that looks so good! <laughs> Holy crap! That looks really good. This is a great lock, lock for like outlining stuff, I think. Mix it up a little bit. Alright. Oh. Maybe turn that one out a little bit. Maybe it juts out into the water a little bit more than the rest do. Why did the guest over here but... Oh. <laughs> I see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> They're like all freaking out because of Allosaurus, but they paid to go to the park, so it's their own fault. Alright, so let's get the dinosaurs shipped over here, though. Let's pop some rocks down. Actually, let's get the trees. Do I want to get... No, let's get the rocks down first. So I'm thinking maybe, like, just more rocks scattered. Maybe this is more like an open area. It's more of like a, a plains that develops into an ocean drop-off, like, right there. More rocks... Kind of facing there. Can I put that there? At least you could put the rocks closer together, that would be nice. Maybe... Maybe it felt... This is like where the rocks originally came from. They kind of fell down into the ocean there. Maybe you could put some more over here. Put like some right there. Oh, come on. Alright. Oh, that looks good. Gotta like tell a story of every bit of it. So maybe, yeah, so maybe it's like, this is more of a rocky area compared to the rest, because the rocks fell, there's a, over time, it, a mountain eroded away with rocks on it, 
and most of them just fell in. Uh, that's a good, that's good background behind it. It's right there. I mean, you gotta have rocks up here because you have rocks down there. Let's just plop a few rocks over here. Make this more rocky. The building constraints kind of make me mad though. I wish the rocks could clip inside the rocks and you wouldn't have to deal with this kind of building constraints. But, you know, I'm still happy we got rocks. Like, I'm not complaining about them. Alright. Now here comes the fun part. We got trees and we got bushes next. So, we got this kind of bushes. So I want to usually main with on this thing. This kind of area. Because I just love this bush. It makes everything look so nice. Oh, look at that. Alright, so this is go ahead and outline all that. And then what I want to do is go ahead and get dirt trails going down. And so you can make it look like the dinosaurs kind of hang out more compared to other areas. You can make it look like trails like that. And they, maybe they hang out over here. Loop in over here a little bit sometimes. It can be also like uh, the basis for river streams too. If like you want to do like dried up rivers, you can just lower it like this. There you go. So if you want to do like a dried up river, you can do it like that and make it look like the water you still in there. It's actually not a bad idea. Maybe do something like that. And then let's have actually I know how to do it. So you gotta flatten this out real quick. Make it look like a dried up river bed. I kind of just went the oh. Alright, um, this is like kind of developing as I go. Like, I'm getting more ideas on how to do it as I go on. Oh, this is so... Like, just details like this make it look, feel so much more alive. And then maybe, like, it's... Maybe it's like a seasonal kind of look And it's, like, maybe bushes really don't have the time to grow. There. Because it's like, maybe it's just the start of the dry season or something like that. I need to fade this in a little bit. There we go. And it kind of just runs down there. A little waterfall area. Let's move this out. Of course. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Dang. That looks really good. So what I don't like doing is like... Pit I like painting the ground textures down first. Because if you put plants over it, it kind of like covers it. So... Because they have like their own base texture for the ground. So I like to put the plants... The, the terrain tools down first. And then kind of outline with the plants where I want to put them. Like this sort of maybe outline right there. And make it more lush along the river. There. A little drinking road right there for them. I don't know what that noise is. I think that's like the Diplodocus is I um bit spawn or bird. Alright. Mix it up over here. Don't want all of the same kind of area. This is more like a mixed area. More lush. Actually, I should put this along the river and make it look more lush. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. And maybe some more plants along here. You never know. Maybe some going down into it. I wish you had lily pads. That'd be cool. Like, that'd be a cool idea for the future. Is like, just some lily pads. Look at that. Mix that in over here. There's not really, like, a trail going down over here. So we can have... More creative freedom with how you want to put plants. Ah, oh, look at that. Looks so lush. Alright. Time for placing down the rivers, though. Wait. Why is it not? Oh, I have. No, I'll explain it. Alright, so maybe, like. Kind of this goes along here. And then it breaks up. We can always cut it in a little bit if we need to. Like that. Maybe put a little bit right there. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, mate. All right. That was pretty good. Like, I'm surprised that worked out so well. Maybe we could have some more right here. Maybe it's another little hidden kind of stream area that kind of dries out every season like that one does over there. All right. I think that looks good. Like, that looks really good. I could look how much more detailed this is. Like, this is actually a really good comparison. But how much more detail it is. Like this is the previous kind of detail we could do. Now look over here with the detail we can do currently in the game. Just look at that. It's like, oh my god, it changes everything. It's amazing. Alright, tree time. So, um, I'm still going to use this kind of tree tool just to 
brush out everything a tad bit. Like maybe like that. Maybe some more going in over here. Bake it up. And then maybe some right here. Perfect. Actually I'll pipe it. Something right there just to kind of break up just the flatness. Alright. Now oh cup. What it is. So my favorite type of tree currently are like these kinds right here because in my opinion they just look like very savannah-esque trees. And you can just kind of like plop them a lot of the places too. You can do like a little grove right there. Oh you can oh just like everything that these terrain towards tools add is amazing. Look at that. It's amazing. I probably need to mix up the trees a tad bit though. Let me poop some down over here. Alright. That's amazing. I don't want to do too many though because it kind of makes it look enclosed. Which is not... You want to make it look open but not like too open. If you know what I mean like natural. I probably should just say natural instead of like open and too open. I would have made a lot of more sense. Alright. How's that look? Yeah, but this is like more of like a fall away for roxes. Ro roxes, yep, totally. Tried to combine T-Rex and rock there for a second. Okay. Alright, so I want to add one final tree. Like, if you have a poke, you kind of have to add this into it. Like, it's just, it's just cool. Where would I add you though? Like right here I'm thinking? Like how does that look right there? That actually looks pretty good right there. Dang, that looks really good right there. Holy crap. Alright, feeder time. So let's plop down the feeders. So we do not have access to the clear sanctuary dinosaurs currently. Due to the fact this is an older save file. So I wouldn't be able to get access to them. So we next series we will will have access to them. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I'm definitely leaning towards Morrison or kind of like Jurassic themed parks. I don't want that too close. But I'm definitely leaning to more like Jurassic themed park because I'm thinking. All right, so currently we do not have many dinosaurs that are part of the Morrison formations. Oh, I mean, what are you doing over here? <laughs> but like these current sort of do, but. We don't have Gyrosaurus, so I'll probably end up mixing some dinosaurs from different parts of it. I don't know how I'd do it. I'll just figure out by next episode how to do it, so I guess you'll see it then. But anyways, back to the dinosaurs. I'm just going to cut until they are back over there, because it's going to take a while for them to chank and then transport them. So I will see you then. Alright, so quick update. Um, the Diplodocus is, like... He's just chilling on the wall, kind of. I don't. I'm not. I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> like I saw him get shot, and then he kind of freaked out and glitched through the wall. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Just. Just a quick update. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure how his spine is not broken, but yeah. Quick update. All right. So we have completed this little bit. Well, it's the final exhibit of poke, I should say. But we have completed it. So. Let's do a little tour. Can you guess? Stop shit. Please shut up, guess. So we have a little. We're doing a little tour right now. So we're gonna do like a little. It's got a little viewing area of the ocean. It's got a migrating. Um, so the top is the sources. And it's actually quite interesting because the dinosaurs do tend to migrate. Like I did not. I would not expect that out of these dinosaurs, but they do migrate around. Like it's very interesting. So let's start on this side, I guess. So. We should have two Pachycephalosaurids, like three goats running around the background. And one Dipodocus right here. These guys are like starving earlier, so I had to put down a ton of feeders. Now if you just make your way up the path, you'll see like some avalanche rocks areas. Let's keep walking. What are they doing? No. Um, <laughs> the whole running. But... You get a nice view of the two Pachycephalosaurus. Now the Orchaeonochomimus is... Most of them did migrate over here. Very interesting. And then we have another Pachycephalosaurus. Two Edmontosauruses right here. God, you guys are pretty. Right there, as you can tell. More Orchaeonochomimus. One Chas- two Chasmosauruses. And earlier we did have a raptor over here. Yeah, here's the raptor. So, this is cool. I like how they do migrate around. Like, he's gonna have to migrate back over here to 
find food. And we're missing a raptor. Where is he? Wait. One, we have four. Oh, there's two over here. I didn't see that. Yeah, but they all kind of like left the area over here. They don't really like it much anymore. The only thing that's still over here are carnivores. Except for that one raptor, at least. But yeah, I think this turned out pretty well. Maybe It really does look like a savannah kind of area. Like, if you put a jeep toy going through this, it would look so nice. Holy crap, would it look nice. But, yeah. Let's just hop into this camera. Hello there. You look beautiful, my dude. Like, good screenshot right there. I had filter. We can get ourselves a depth of field. Ooh. Nice. Let's fly around a little bit more. That, th that just looks so good. Look at that. I love getting in this, like, camera mode and just flying around and getting pictures. Like, getting better at it. Like, look. It's like, oh, it looks so good. Like, hop. Oh. <laughs> it just looks so good. I right. focused up. I know it's probably not a good idea to like put it under the shade, but I like the picture. It looks good. I know I've said it like 20 times, but A. Oh, look at that. Like, it just adds so much detail, like these trees and everything. Like, if you're just walking around here, got a nice little raptor, about ready to hunt. That's so cool. Like, maybe if I get on this side, actually, might be a better one. Yeah, it's better if I put it there. Maybe lower depth feel a little bit. Alright, that's enough pictures though. So I think I am going to end it off here. This concludes our series on Sanctuary Beach. I will be studying a next a ne new series next week, I'm pretty sure. So I will see you then. Goodbye.